Welcome to my bookmarking 101 lesson. I'm going to take you through a basic bookmarking site, how to create an account, set up your profile, and how to make your first bookmarks. Uh, we'll also go over a couple other little details like adding it to your browser to bookmark sites uh, more quickly. So what I'm going to do is take you through this site here, massbookmark.com. This is a newer site. Uh, it's only been out for a couple weeks and it's already got over 100 different bookmarkings. For those of you who are still not familiar with this whole you know, bookmarking, social bookmarking madness, basically if you go to a website and you enjoy it and you want to remember remember the site so you can come back to it at a later time, what you do is you bookmark it and you add it to your favorites. So what this is, it's basically the same thing except it's on a website with a little bit more kick to it. As you can see here, you've got a title, a description, and what we call tags. Now if I click on any of these tags, it'll take me to another page which obviously belongs to this particular bookmarking. Um, but if there's other tags in here that other people have done using some of the same bookmarkings, then those additional uh, listings will show up as well. Um, you can also see, like, here's a big word discount. This one's a little bit bigger because it's been used more often than than other sites who bookmarked here. If I click on that, it gives me, uh, you know, a few different listings. As you can see, there's different titles, different descriptions, and different uh, tag words in there. These tag words, um, for whatever reason it is, are loved by the search engines. And it helps them to identify, you know, the keywords that are associate associate with your particular bookmark or your particular information that you've posted. Uh, let's go back to the home page here. All these bookmarking sites also include what we call an RSS feed here. You can click on this particular icon, and it's going to show you the most recent, you know, 10 to uh, 20 bookmarkings. Let's go back. Those are for people who like to, um, you know, use RSS feeds or submit them to different directories. There's a, there's a whole strategy behind that, which I will get into in a later video. But all the elements that are important for the whole Web 2.0 and, and the social bookmarking arena is all built into these type of sites. So what you want to do first is register your account. So I'm going to create a new account here called Bookmark. And I'm going to use my Gmail account. And now I have a created account. Pretty simple. Um, some of the bookmarking sites will require that you activate your uh, account with them before you can log in and before you can do any bookmarkings. Uh, for this particular site, it's not the case. <clears throat> so once you are logged in, look for a place to do your profile create a new profile. Um, for personal details, for this particular kind of bookmarking sites, these are called Scuttle. It's a, it's a free software that's available and they all run pretty much the same unless you're using an older version. And they all let you go in there and create a basic name, uh, a link to your home page, and a description. So for this one I'm just going to use a keyword here, increase website traffic. I will link it to the website that I want to promote or that I want to bookmark. And you know the description can be anything you want. Um, this site is dedicated to SEO tactics. Increase website traffic today. Now, of course, this is very basic. You really want to give more details. You want to give uh, descriptions that really describe what your site is about. You know, maybe some of the services. You don't. It doesn't have to be very long. I wouldn't do a description more than 100 words, just because there's so many of these bookmarking sites. You you can just spend hours doing these kind of uh, different descriptions. I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes. Changes saved. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is add my first bookmark. Where it says address, what it's asking for is your actual website. So I'm going to put in here, increase online traffic.info. And now what this has done is it's pulled the title tags from the website, increase online traffic professional SEO. 
I'm just going to change online to web site as that's the keyword that I want to go after for this particular post. I'll leave this here as well because it doesn't hurt. Um, a description, again, again, you're going to be adding descriptions here and then you're going to do this each time you do a bookmark. So I'll put a really quick description, increase website traffic using the latest web 2.0 techniques. And then for tags, I will use increase website traffic. Use a comma to separate your next keyword or phrase. Professional SEO web 2.0. Okay. Now privacy public shared with watch list or private. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this public. I pretty much always keep it public. I have no reason for the other ones, um, for the other options there. So now I'm going to add bookmark. When it's done, it takes you to the website that you're bookmarking. Typically, you want to make sure that you put in the right website before you do this because if you end up bookmarking the wrong URL, you just wasted some time. I'm going to go back now. Now there's a feature in, in most of these sites and sometimes they give you instructions uh, like here, drag one of the following bookmarklets to your browser's bookmark and click it whenever you want to add the page you're on to mass bookmark. The reason you want to do this is because this allows you to, to bookmark a website very simple and, I, and I'll explain here. Let me, um, let me just move this a little bit up here so we can see. Okay, I'm going to take, I'm just going to click this, left click it, hold it down, and I'm going to drag it up into this area of my browser. And now it says post to mass bookmark. So for example, I'll go here, I'm going to go to a website. I'll go to sitepronews.com. Okay, it's almost loaded. There we go. Now here is top three Google SEO linking strategy. This is an, an article from their blog post. I'm going to go ahead and click on that directly. Now if I've read through this whole article and I think, wow, this is great. I'd love to bookmark this so I can come back to it later. I'm going to click on post to mass bookmark. And as you see, it automatically filled out the link and the title tags. The rest of it will be information that I can type in here my, for a description of what I just read and the tags that I want to put in here and then I can add bookmark. So as you can see, just by dragging up that um, post to bookmark into here, into my Firefox browser, I can pretty much go to any website, click the button, and I'm ready now to bookmark as many pages as I want. Now I recommend that if you have a website with several pages, bookmark all of your pages or as many pages as you can. Um, you don't have to do it all in one day. You know, I wouldn't spend more than 10 or 15 minutes on this this particular method. There are others. There are other programs out there that will allow you to do this to multiple sites at once. Um, I will go into that in a later video, but I just wanted to give a basic rundown so you understood how to bookmark, how to create an account, how to create your profile, um, and how you can bookmark multiple pages very simply by again adding uh, the bookmarking option to your browser. Now, if you're using Internet Explorer, it's a different method. It doesn't work as easily as dragging and just dropping into this area like I did here. Um, I recommend that you use Firefox for this for this type of work. It'll save you a lot of time and trouble. Thank you.